the stealth fighter that's already deep in enemy territory, without anyone noticing. They say war begins with noise. Sirens, explosions, chaos. But sometimes, it begins in silence. No warning, no signal. Just the quiet roar of a jet no one ever saw coming. This is the story of the F-22 Raptor, America's most elite fighter. A machine built to rule the sky, to strike before detection, and to disappear without leaving a trace. And according to multiple reports, it may have already flown where few others dare. Deep into hostile airspace, collecting intel, watching enemies, and slipping away unnoticed. Let's take a closer look inside its shadow missions. The F-22 was never designed to fight on equal terms. It was built to cheat the battlefield, to win before the enemy even knows there's a fight. Unmatched in agility, silent on radar, able to track dozens of targets while staying practically invisible. Its radar cross-section is so tiny that military analysts have compared it to a steel marble. That means most radar systems simply don't see it. It's there, but not there. Armed with air-to-air -air missiles, bombs, and a 20-millimeter cannon, it can fight in close quarters or destroy threats from miles away. But perhaps its most dangerous weapon is information. What it sees, hears, and sends back to command before anyone realizes it was overhead. Since 2013, the F-22 has been quietly deployed to bases across the Middle East. One key location is Al Dafra Air Base in the United Arab Emirates, just across the Gulf from Iran. Officially, its presence there was for regional stability. But behind the scenes, defense analysts knew better. Fox News confirmed the deployment. Satellite images backed it up. And military insiders hinted that these weren't just routine patrols. This was positioning, preparation, a shadow force waiting for orders. And it didn't stop there. In 2017, U.S. forces operating in Syria had a visitor. According to reports from The Drive and The National Interest, F-22s were tracking Iranian fighter jets flying dangerously close to U.S. assets. But the Iranian pilots had no idea they were being followed. The Raptor crept in and flew just off their wing, completely invisible to their radar. Then, when it wanted to be seen, it rolled into view. A silent warning. That's not theory. That happened. And it wasn't the only time. In separate incidents, the F-22 intercepted drones and escorted U.S. bombers through contested skies. It operated just outside Iranian airspace, or maybe even inside, depending on who you ask. According to Defense News, Former U.S. Air Force officers confirmed that F-22s had flown real-world stealth operations in zones where detection meant danger. They didn't just train for war. They were already flying inside it. The F-22 doesn't need to fire a missile to be effective. Its mere presence is a threat. Its ability to operate undetected forces adversaries to act differently, to guess, hesitate, or pull back. Military planners call this shaping the battlefield. The Raptor doesn't just fight. It controls the fight before it starts. It maps radar coverage. It watches air defenses. It feeds real-time intelligence back to command. It can support B-2 bombers, protect drones, or silently escort other aircraft through danger zones. And the enemy? They don't even know it's there. You won't find press releases about these flights. The Pentagon doesn't comment. Flight logs are classified. Radar tracks are incomplete. But patterns don't lie. Each time tensions flare in the Middle East, the F-22 shows up quietly and then vanishes from public view just as quickly. 
It's always where it needs to be. Not seen, not heard, but absolutely present. That's not a coincidence, that's doctrine. The F-22 wasn't built to wait for a full-scale war to begin. It was built for what happens before that, when diplomacy cracks, when missiles haven't yet launched, but everyone's holding their breath. When the next flashpoint comes, don't look to the headlines. Look to the shadows above the desert. The raptors will already be there, watching, waiting, and if needed, striking without ever being seen.